Hi Maddie. Hi Katie. My nail just popped off right as I was about to start this. I put new nails on today. I got these ones from Timu, I think. I don't know if you'll be able to see them too well. They got little flowers and yellow tips. Right as I was about to start this. Whoops, we had the sound on. Anyways, I'm here for a quick minute because my kids are gonna be home in a few, but I've been wanting to come all, on all day. I've just been working on filming some videos on using book pages in your journals. So I have a bunch of fun videos filmed, but we are going to find my trimmer. And this is just a really, really simple project. Nothing super unique, but I thought it was cute enough to share with you. So you can do this idea with any kind of book pages. And I do have an actual tutorial coming where you can see like tabletop view, but I need to make up a bunch of these for the journals that I'm working on. So I'm just gonna get right in since I might only have like 15 minutes or so, but hi Amy. So I'm gonna use a botanical page, but let me show you. They're just simple little envelopes, but I love that they have a little heart tab because I'm looking around for, <laughs> I've been working on these heart pockets that are going in these journals and I thought it was just cute to have a few heart themed items, items. So like, so it has this little heart tab and you can, you can decorate them. Let's see the little pocket there. Yeah. So you can decorate the tabs with like, paper and lace. <laughs> I just got this like mural kind of thing in my craft room. It's over here and it just fell. Anyway, so you can decorate them or you can keep them simple with just a book page. I put a label on this one. Yeah, so like I said, let's bring you down a little bit so you can see my desk. That should be all right because it's such a simple project that you don't really even need to see the whole thing. But okay, so I'm gonna take my book page. I never measure. I just make sure that the width is within the limits of my journal sizes. Actually, maybe I should check. This, this might be a little wide. Um, it's probably fine for some of them, but maybe I'll need to trim it. Okay. Oh, you could, you can also put your envelopes sideways in your journals, but I think I will trim it a little bit. Let's see it. I think like five and a half inches ish is good for the size of journals that I make, but obviously depending on what size you make, it might be a little bit different. So yeah, so you really only need to worry about the width. And then actually, if you, if you know how I make my wallpaper pockets, it's the same thing. It's literally two folds. So we fold, fold up and then fold down. I mean the most simple envelope, but I think it's all in how you decorate it. That makes it really cute. And you can sew these or you can glue them. So there we go. Um, I think just to make it a little extra cute, I will get a few paper punches out. I'm going to take a scalloped circle punch and do a half circle like right on the inside of the pocket. So there's like a little tab. And then I will take this new edge punch that I have from Timu. And I'm going to, I should have just done a simple one to start, but that's okay. I'm going to, well, this is still actually really simple. What am I thinking? I will punch all the way across. Let's see. One more. And hello, if you're just joining, I'm going to take some ink and... I'm gonna take my corner rounder 
I'm gonna punch the edges. I feel like all of these little details are what makes these look less than just a book page. You know? You know? Okay. Hi, Tabitha and Rosie and Rada, Amy. I already said hi. Amy, I think. Genevieve. How are you guys tonight? Just gonna ink around the edges real quick. I'm going to glue the two sides up. I was thinking, of course, um, I decided to do a live when I didn't have that much time and I was thinking to watch a lot of people will be joining probably. Of course. Okay, so we've got, so it's pretty much done now, but like I said, I like little heart tab so I'm going to make a heart tab if you have a heart punch that would be awesome um you could use scrapbook paper or book page when I was making these earlier for a video I was only doing book pages but since I'm making them yeah or since I'm making more of them I feel like I can just use a little bit of scrapbook paper now I think the wonkier the heart, I hate that word, but the less imperfect the heart is, or the less perfect the heart is, the cuter it is. Like this one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a little off-centered and I think that's cute, so. But if you have a heart punch, that would be really cute, so let's see. I'm gonna take some pretty scrapbook paper just to use up. And I'm just gonna freehand it And if you are using a book page um, <clears throat> or a scrapbook paper that's not too sturdy, then I would layer it up with a heavy cardstock or like something a little thicker. Um, let's see. Like sometimes I'll have file folder pieces. Yeah, I do. File folder would be perfect. Or yeah, I think this is a file folder. Maybe it's a heavy cardstock, I don't know. But I'm, so I'm gluing it. And again, just in case you're just hopping on, I'm going really fast with this version as we're doing it on a live, but I have an actual tutorial coming showing this and like five other ideas using book pages for your journals, so. Okay, so I'm just, I took that heart, I glued it on the heavier cardstock, and I'm just cutting around since it is going to be a tab. Okay. Hi, Susan and Kit. I'm inking around the edges of the heart now. So for this part, let's see, you can either glue the heart on. I'm just gluing the like the bottom half or actually I'd probably have it come down a little bit more yeah the bottom half and then the top is unglued so that it is just holding that flap down um if you wanted you could also ooh, let's try something so that was how I did it the first time but I'm going to try something a little bit different I'm going to glue the top half and I'm gonna glue it, since I didn't do this in my tutorial video, I'll try to show you a little better. I am actually gonna glue it onto the tab, like that. Or, sorry, not the tab, the flap. <laughs> the tab, the flap, whatever. So you could just keep it like that and it just looks cute, but I, I really like my envelopes to stay closed when they're in a journal, because then I feel like when you're putting little pieces in there, they could fall out. But I'm gonna take the smallest ever Velcro dots and let me take um, both sides. Okay. 
and I'm going to put it on the bottom half of the heart. And then I'll press it down really good. And then when you open it, you'll have your, there we go. Yep. And then it'll hold it closed. So then it looks like this. And you know, you can use, like I said, you could use all book pages for this if you want. So I thought they were really cute. Very simple, but cute. And I would probably put this on a journal page. I'll show you how, what I would do, but you could do all kinds of things. You could have it floating in the journal. You could clip it in with a paper clip. Probably what I would do, I would put it on the bottom of a journal page, glue or sew on two sides, and then it would have a pocket as well, like that. But if you're using really cute like book pages, it might be fun to just go ahead and clip it on. So I'm excited to have these for the, the current journals that I'm working on. So let's just make a couple more while I have the time. Let's do that with, let's do it with like a normal book page. Um, let's see, all of my book pages have cute little images on them. So let's grab, I will grab a page from this is, book here. Hi Robin. Just bought some of the, the small Velcro circles. Oh good. I use them so often. I'm just gonna clean up the edge of the book page real quick. Make sure it's about five or eh, between five and a half and six inches wide. That's good for my journals. And then again, we're just gonna do that same thing. Fold it up. Don't need to measure unless you want to. Fold the flap down. And then I'm gonna use my uh, corner rounder again. And we will glue up the two sides. And then if you're using just normal book pages that have writing on them, it can be really fun to decorate. Um, ooh, one thing I did earlier, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, let's do the main construction here. Um, ooh, what I did earlier was I took some stencils. I got this whole pack of stencils from Timu. I have a Timu haul coming, so I don't even have the link right now to share with you, but... I'm going to take the stencil, place it on the envelope, just in some random spots, like a little on one of the corners. Or you could do it all over, honestly, whatever. But I kind of like to just have it random. Fireball, da, na, 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 na. <laughs> I don't know why that fireball song is in my head. Probably because I've been watching too much uh, YouTube. Then I'll just go ahead and add a little bit more ink around the edges. Um, and then we need a heart. You could do this without a heart also. Get it? You could do this without a heart. I don't know why, that wasn't really that funny. Let's you know what let's do this one like all book page yeah I am going to grab some Edith Holden book page because I like the color of it and 
I'm going to just freehand a little heart. And honestly, I'm making it kind of imperfect on purpose because I just like how it looks. But I do think that adding some ink to the edges kind of makes it stand out. Again, I want it to be a little thicker. The Edith Holden book pages are pretty thick, so you, could, you would be fine with it just like this, but I think over time. So I'm gonna glue it onto really heavy cardstock, cut it out. Cut it out. I don't know, get, I'm in a weird mood. I get to see my sister tonight and it was kind of unexpected, so I'm excited for that. Well, it wasn't unexpected, but I didn't, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to go or not. Okay, we'll just cut around like that. And then I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna put this tab on by gluing the bottom half. Just make sure if you're gluing it on, make sure that glue isn't going to seep up to the top because then you'll have your whole flap of the envelope glued shut. So like this. Hi, uh, so many of you are here today. I like the imperfect hearts you do, Jessica, because they give your project character. Yeah, I agree. I think it's so cute like that. So just like this. But of course, again, I think the fun is in decorating them. I'm gonna come over here and get some lace. Um, let's choose. I'll choose a thicker lace for this one. Oh, wait a minute. That's a really thick one. That's a really thick one. Honestly, I would probably take this to my sewing machine and sew these also, but you don't have to. Um, I'll just glue this on, the lace that is. Okay, I'm just trying to get the glue from seeping out of the lace. Is that my kid's home? I might have to get off here pretty quick, by the way. So, I mean, I don't have to get off when my kids get home, but I haven't seen them for like a day or so, so, or two days maybe. They will be loud. Okay. Um, hello, Rishi. I probably, I probably said your name wrong. Um, oh, well, welcome. Have you ever filmed a tour of your craft room? I have. I did when I like first moved in here and then I do a lot of craft organizing videos, but I definitely have a craft room tour. You would probably have to type in craft room tour paper terrace or I can look for it in a few minutes. But anyways, here's this one. You can kind of see the lace on there and it would be fun. Oh, like this one. This one was cute because I added some scrapbook paper across here. And then I put a little postage stamp sticker. So you can have a lot of fun with postage stamp stickers, I think. In fact, I'll grab a couple. But if I have to ab abruptly get off while well, say bye, then you know why. Because my kids are home. sticker on this one I'm having a hard time getting these postage stamp sticker backings off I put nails on and I kind of forgot how hard it is to do everything with nails but I really like how they look I'm gonna put this sticker up in the corner make it kind of look like it's going through the mail so cute Gather the garbage. Alright. Trying to think what else. I'm gonna 
I think I'll make one with this book page. Um, wait, let's see how wide this is. It's probably a little too wide. Yeah. You could make up a bunch of the hearts ahead of time also. Or again, you could do this project without hearts, but I think, okay. I'm gonna trim this white part off right here. Fold it up. Fold it down. Fold it up, fold it down. Oh, um, also, okay. We could take the flap and angle the corners. That might look cute. It's a little uneven, but that's okay. If it's uneven, just trim it up. I'm just going to add ink all the way around the edges of this one. Um, since this flap is like completely white, I am going to use my stencil all across the, the whole um, flap, I guess. This stencil is so cute. It's like cheetah print, which I'm not normally a fan of cheetah print, but for some reason on a stencil, I think it's so cute. But yeah, I am like right now I'm into anything that's like heart shaped for journals. So I'm probably gonna be figuring out other projects that have hearts in them. Cause I think they're, it's gonna look so cute in these journals that I'm working on. Oh, that is so cute. You see that? Why is that so cute? I'm gonna go ahead and just glue up the edges on this one. Don't worry about your hearts being perfect. Okay. I'm gonna glue this down again to this heavy cardstock. These are just so quick and easy to make, but they are fun. So for this one, I'm kind of leaving a border. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm kind of leaving a border around the heart. Well, okay, whatever. I was gonna say that one's very crazy, but that's okay. Let's embrace it. <laughs> Add some ink. I don't think that I used my circle or my corner rounder on this one, but that's okay. They can all be different. These scraps. Okay, and then we'll go ahead, glue the bottom half. I like the Velcro dots, but I also just like how simple it is to glue on the heart tab. And I think especially when you're using book pages as the envelope, that the tab will be plenty sturdy enough for this. Ooh, what's the bluish paper you're using? I will show you the paper pad in just a sec. 
I wish I had links. It's from Timu. And I do have a haul coming. I will have the links by then. I just, I don't have them already. But, okay, there that works. But, there we go. I also really like the combination of, like, the different prints together. Alrighty, there we go. I'll show you the paper pad. Oh, darn. Shoot. I don't have the cover. Well, yeah, I don't have the... Like, oh, yes, I do. Why did I throw that away? I don't know if this will be helpful, but it's called. Co I don't actually know what that says. <laughs> Count memories. I don't really know. This was the cover. But yeah, got it from Timu. It was a really cute little floral paper pack, six by six. Just different florals. They're really pretty, honestly. And it's pretty decent like wait so I just have it here on my workstation because I wanted to use it because it's so pretty but, yeah. I'm afraid that I have ink on my hands okay um, I'll go ahead and use this little postage stamp sticker to finish this one off and then I probably shall go Yeah, that's so adorable. Okay, well, that's going to be it. I hope that I inspired you guys to make some of these because they're so cute. So, here we go. Oh, there's one too. Yeah. Put that back there. Okay, guys, well, I honestly... I would love to keep going with these because they're so cute and I need to make more, but I think I better go. So let's see. I'll just make sure no one asks me questions. Um, let's see. Okay, I think. Oh, I could try to find my craft room tour. Craft room tour paper terrace. Let's see, because I have craft room tours like for my old house and everything. So I don't know if I would have titled. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. Uh, share, copy a link, because I guess I labeled it craft studio tour. I was trying to sound cool I guess but there you go I just pinned the link to my craft room tour yeah I'm curious um, I want to watch that and see what looks different now I'm kind of curious huh. I think for the most part the big things are in the same place but anyways okay guys um, I'm glad that we got to hang out for a little bit and that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.